Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to anneal or soften and then reharden steel for knife making. On the left is a piece of threaded rod. This is mild steel. It's very easy to work. You can file it, cut it, grind it, you can even bend it. Not appropriate for knives uh, because it just won't be hard enough to hold an edge. In the middle we have a piece of high carbon steel, this leaf spring of a car. It's very hard, very durable, and very appropriate for a knife. You can see that it will stand up to the rigors uh, in a lifetime of outdoor use. But it would be very difficult to cut or to grind into the shape of a blade. On the other end of the spectrum you have tool steel. Tool steel, like this file, is very hard. It would, in fact, hold an edge, but it is not very strong, too hard, and it becomes brittle. So what we want to do is take the spring steel that we want to use for our knife and anneal it or soften it so that we can work with it. And then after we're completely done, we want to re-harden it again. But re-hardening it brings the steel up to the tool steel state. After it's re-hardened, we then want to temper it so that it is not uh, brittle and that we can use it as a knife. The first step is to bring the material up to critical temperature, which is usually about cherry red, when it is no longer magnetic. You then let it cool slowly. After it cools, this is now equivalent to mild steel, and we can grind it, we can cut it, we can file it and sand it uh, to the desired shape and design of the knife that we want to create. This process takes a little bit of time, but once you have the blade to the desired size and shape, in order to reharden it, we're going to take that blade and put it back into the furnace. Of course, you want to make sure that everything is done. All the holes are drilled and it's almost completely polished. Once it's back in the furnace, Again, you want to bring it up to critical temperature, which state where it is no longer magnetic. See, our, our magnet there on our threaded rod doesn't attach to the, to the steel. We're then going to take that uh, cherry red hot steel out of the fire, and instead of letting it cool slowly, we want to quench it in oil. It's this quick quenching that's going to re-harden that spring steel. But remember, Quick quenching is also going to result in this steel being brittle. So the last step in the process, after you take this uh, knife blade blank uh, out of the oil and let it cool, we want to put it back into an oven. In this case, I'm just going to use my kitchen oven, about 375 degrees for at least three hours. This is the tempering process. And again, we want to let it cool slowly. What I do is I put it in for three hours and then let it cool in the oven overnight. This annealing and then hardening and then tempering process will give you a knife that is not only sharp but durable enough to last a lifetime. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com Please check out our other how-to videos, and if you like this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.